So, there's been a lot of Digimon news over this weekend. Uh, there's stuff that we had with Survive, obviously, and then there's been more updates on the BE and the pre-order for the uh, BE 25th anniversary open-up. So, I'm swiftly going to go through all the BE stuff. So, for the BE, they released a trailer talking about all of its different features and stuff. Starting off, they kind of showed off the regular kind of, like, training and stuff that you normally do with your Digimon. Then they also showed that you get your own avatar on it. So, that kind of makes sense for the... I, I heard somewhere about uh, when you get a BE, there's going to be no dim included. You just get to be as is uh but basically that's why they're just going to give you an avatar of yourself it seems like kind of like a roundabout way of saying okay here buy a few dims uh, i would have liked if they would have included a dim with it because i don't think the character does much i don't think they battle or have an adventure mode at least not that it's been shown anyways uh but i kind of wish that they included it the other thing they spoke about then was uh, you can actually have up to three backup characters in the BE. So like, I think that's like you have your active Digimon, you've got your three backup characters, like your three backup Digimon you can store, which is really cool. I just wonder how that's going to affect uh, your Jogress. Will it be something like your Jogress with the first Digimon in backup? If that's incompatible, it moves on to the second and then the third. I wonder if that's how it works. Another thing then was like for battles then you can get like a support character so one of your backup Digimon can come out and like take part in the battle as well. That's really cool. I wonder when they're gonna pop up like is it gonna be like if you're about to die they pop up and like take one hit or is it like with the raid battles where you take a hit and then they come in for a second hit. Either way it's gonna make battles because like grinding the adventure mode is very difficult so it's gonna make that an awful lot easier like for any anyone that's done their one probably 1500 to 2000 steps or whatever it takes like to beat a level and then they get there and they fail so they have to do it all over again it's gonna take that grind out to have your support character come in and help out there uh obviously i'd say if you increase both their stats and stuff like that it would obviously increase your chances because you got two strong digimon two max out digimon uh so that's very interesting i'm actually kind of happy with that another thing you spoke about with the dim cards the regular dim cards we have now uh they can store 17 digimon so then the new dim cards would be memory cards we can actually get 23 digimon on one now i'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later on in the video uh just because there's stuff to do with the 25th anniversary that i want to talk about for there so one thing they did talk about with the new online arena battles is they kind of showed off a little bit of how it looks. So you've got like an almost Pokemon-esque kind of setup. You've got your Digimon uh, down the bottom left and then top right in the distance is your opponent. Uh, they tur take turns like attacking each other and stuff. But it doesn't really show how the gameplay is actually played it's, it's you know it's just it, they're just there kind of uh so i don't know i'm hoping we get a little bit more information on because that app i'm very interested in uh so if you keep up with the channel i'll be definitely talking a little bit more about that uh as we go uh, another thing to mention was there's going to be tournaments so it's that we can all battle each other around the world and it's kind of like we can battle for top spot or whatever. So I wonder how the tournament's going to like rank. I mean is it going to be like based on how many kills that you get or is it going to be like based on points. I'm assuming it's going to be points just because everything else is based off of points. Uh, which I don't mind. That's not a bad system. Uh, what I do hope they do though is just make, make the gameplay a lot more interactive. Like, rather than just pressing a button and waiting and pressing a button and waiting, it's just, it, it gets so monotonous and, like, it's more of a chore to do that. So I'm hoping that gameplay is a lot more interactive. There's a lot more to do uh, as far as, like, using items in the middle of a fight, like, uh, I don't know, like, selecting what attack you want to do, stuff like this. I, I kind of hope that we get to do stuff like that. So moving on, we can talk about the 25th anniversary BE set that's been up for pre-order there. Uh, I'm going to use Zen and TCG's site. I'm actually not affiliated with these at all, so uh, just I can't access Bandai Japan for whatever reason. Premium Bandai Japan, just like, there's a lot of hoops to jump through to get in there, and it just can't be bothered, but I just want to show off these pictures. So starting off with this one, uh, we always seen there was like the two versions, the grey version and the red version, and kind of like a lot of us were kind of which one we get which one we get it turns out they're actually both in the same kit so what it is is you get the device like the watch bit itself and then on top of that we'll get the skins which is the the strap which is the gray and the brown brick and you just slot them over it that's basically how it is so you get two empty two empty shells and then the device itself 
Uh, another bonus they're also throwing in, just to swiftly throw, show you over here. Uh, another bonus shown over here is the Tyrannomon artwork that we get. It's a Kenji Watanabe, uh, one of the original uh, artists for Digimon. Uh, so it's, that's that's gonna be just sick to have. I'm actually really looking forward to that. Uh, we also get the memory and the BE memory down here, and that's the 25th anniversary dim. Now, what this dim is is it's the dot sprites that we see normally uh, on other regular devices. So that's what the dims are gonna look like. By the way, is just like this uh, transparent kind of a, a card, which I kind of like. I've seen some people say that they don't like them. There's not as much charm, but I don't know. They kind of showed them off very poorly. I think before. I think it was just be written on them, but I didn't think they want to give too much away. They still have like this little bit of artwork up here. Which is what I love seeing on the VB dim cards anyways. Uh, then you got the name of the dim card and stuff. So they're still cool. Still cool. I like them. They've, they've not changed much to be honest. Uh, next thing down here then is we just have like how training influences your Digimon. We have the sprites. We somehow have Agamon who digivolves to Numamon then back to uh, Metal Greymon <laughs> and then up to Blitz Greymon. What I will say though, this kind of sticks out to me here a bit. See the background? The background changes in every Digivolution. Do we get more than one background on these dim cards? Because that's, that's kind of sick. Like we've got him on the beach there. Uh, he's up in the mountains. He's out in a forest. And then he's just kind of in a desert. I, I like that. I hope that's the thing. Uh, it doesn't really talk much about here. It just talks about their Digivolution. I'm really kind of interested to see see what that does. So we've got like the dot Digimon, whoever. Here's the full roster. We've actually got the full roster. Here. So we got Bodamon to Koromon, Agamon, Betamon. All the regular ones are there. You'll notice we do have this extra Digimon here. This is Shin Monzimon, which I think is like Death Monzimon, which is really cool. Uh, he has his own artwork over here somewhere. So he's a brand new Digimon made for this device. He looks kind of sick. I love it. I love it. It's like a, a mix up of like, I don't know, Waru Monzimon, but if he exploded. And all the, the death inside him, I suppose, kind of like came out. I do like him. He looks kind of sick. But yeah, they have uh, Megas on this. The same kind of ones we would have seen on the version 20th. So last thing I want to go over then is this. Pulsemon's dot forms are on this device. Uh, it's one straight line. We're going to go from uh, Dokimon all the way up to uh, Kazuchimon. So cool thing about this is you unlock this by beating all the adventure battles. So by unlocking the adventure battles, not only like we're not just getting like one new form or one new mega, we're getting a whole line of Digimon. That's so fucking sick. I wonder it's 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 obviously like a new egg. So how would that work? Does that mean like when we put in the the VB, like can we select an egg? I'm really interested to see how that works. I really, really am. Or is it just something that pops up after we finish the last one? I, I don't know. It's just there's, there's not a whole lot of information other than that. We get this. I really fucking like that. I love it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this device. I've already pre-ordered mine. Uh, if you want, uh, go ahead and pre-order yours if it's something that you're interested in. There is going to be more uh, bees coming out. There's going to be the different colored versions. There's also going to be uh, the black and white ones. And then there's the anime version. So there's going to be like a Digimon version that's got a red band. Oh yeah. Then there's going to be a Tokyo Revengers version as well. Which is uh, an anime version of the BE. So there's a lot to look forward to with this device. I mean there's a little bit here for everyone. But yeah. Uh, there's a lot to look forward to with the BE. I think it's going to really take off a lot more. In a much bigger way than the VB did. Just because of all the stuff this can do. So yeah. Do try pre-order yours if, uh, if you're interested in this device. But yeah, that's pretty much it from me. I'm going to be streaming Digimon Survive later on today. Uh, if you want to check out my reaction to that game as I'm playing it, uh, please stop by and I will talk to you then. Bye-bye.